Good morning, everyone. It is about 5.30, and we are getting ready for a port run. So we're just gonna load up the truck. We got the trailer on the Benz already. Um, that one's not for my car. I'm gonna be driving my car, but that is for a second car that is not mine. It's my buddy's. So um, we're picking two cars up today. And uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little adventure. So we are on the road for the worst trip ever. I hate making this trip. It is terrible. So I left the house around 5.15. We left the shop around 6.15, 6.30. It is now, what, 9.45? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. And we still have over an hour to go, about an hour to go. What we have here is the bridge of George Washington. Hello, Mr. Washington, how is your bridge? I know you have the bumpiest roads of all of Newish England. This is the most terrible bridge ever. We just hit a pothole that would have swallowed a child hole. I thought the trailer was gone. Do you hear this? All right, we made it to the port in time. It's about 10 o'clock. And um, yeah, we're gonna get ready. I gotta put my vest on and go in there with all my paperwork and hopefully come out with a new car. I'll see you guys when I get back. What a terrible ride that was. What did I get inside the port? We are back out here. We got our cars out. And um, let's see. We got the big body V8 Nissan sedan. Nissan Sima. It's actually really clean. Dirty, but clean. It's only got like 45,000 miles on it. V8. And this thing's pretty cool. Seems smooth as hell. It's got all kinds of screens on the inside. Just some, some V. I told you guys I had a VIP car coming in. I actually got more than one coming in. But this is the first one. The all black Nissan Sima. And this thing is cool. I really do like this. So I bought this instead of a single cam r33 sedan and me aunt dagnell and dj were talking this is so much more car than that single cam r33 but the fanboys will pick this will pick the r33 over this sima any single day of the week and they're fucking crazy because this thing is awesome it's got a vh41 with 270 horsepower per the gentleman rules so it's maxed out on horsepower it's on paper it's got as much horsepower as a fucking r34 gtr obviously it doesn't but so it's a v8 i'm hoping it has an lsd and the thing is clean with low miles versus a dog shit fucking rb20 single cam that was hammered had three times the mileage as this car and it was just junk, automatic sedan, series one car. This is so much nicer looking, so much faster, so much more comfortable, but you line them up and someone will take that skyline over this any day of the week. And they're fucking crazy. All right, so we made it to the first rest stop and this thing is doing pretty good. It's got some nut for sure, you know, 270 horsepower. It feels pretty good on the road. Um, definitely needs brakes. The brakes are shimmying a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I can use Q45 brakes on this. I know you could use the whole S chassis front end on these because people you do drift these things. So, yeah, we need to do brakes on it, and it seems like it might have a loose ball joint or something, but the whole front end is all Q45, so it should be pretty easy. But this thing is a gem. It drives so nice. All right, so we are back at the shop with the Shima, Sima. I don't know how to pronounce it. If you guys know for sure, then let me know. From what I'm told, it's actually Shima. 
So like a SH sound. It's not Sima, it's Shima. But I'm gonna call it a Sima because that's how it's spelt. Now it's a Sima. But regardless, I gave it a quick washing and check it out. I mean, obviously it's been dirty from sitting for a while, but this car doesn't have like the stainings on it. Maybe a little bit from like sitting in a lot somewhere and sitting under dust. So it could definitely use a little bit more washing and some wax, you know, a little bit more cleaning up. But considering the other cars that are all stained up, the white cars and look like garbage, this one cleaned up very, very well with one crappy wash job. Really, really impressed. The inside of the car is super clean. Let's check the inside out. So, get this seat. The seat looks like it doesn't have anywhere on it. It's got this really cool key. Everything still works with the key. The buttons all work. That stuff has all my crap from the trip. Who's getting at it, brapping? Oh, they're coming in here. Oh, it's this bozo. I should have fucking known. We should have known it was this bozo. All right, back, back to the story, Jack. So, yeah, so like I showed you guys before, it's got the whole touch screen going on here. It's got a couple marks on the screen, but they're from the inside. So we're gonna get the converter. They got a, an FM converter that you can change, make the radio work to our stations. So we're gonna try that FM converter, see how that works. They're only 10 bucks, I'll order one tonight. And then it's got all this going in, it's in there. So, let's see, if you go to AM or FM, you can actually, you know, touch screen. Which is crazy that a 97 has a touch screen TV. It's also got this, which I'm assuming is a GPS setup, but it, it's not hooked up yet, or it's not powering on for some reason. I have to figure out, I'm gonna play with it a little bit. It is working. It just wasn't plugged in all the way. How fucking cool. It doesn't seem like it's doing much. Okay. Music player. Okay, I gotta figure out how to do this. So now we have a whole nother setup that we have to try and get going. So this is cool. I actually do have the book to this. I have the book inside the glove box. Let's go check that out. And um, maybe we'll, we'll use some Google Translate and see what we can do with this setup. And, you know, translate some shit and see if it actually works. Take a quick peek at what's under the hood on this SEMA. SEMA, SEMA, SEMA. So what we have is the 4.1 VH41 engine, which is the same motor that came in the Q45 over here. And the VH45 came in a bunch of things over here. So they're not bad to get parts for. This car in general isn't bad to get parts for. The brakes, I'm pretty sure, line right up with a Q45. Um, every, a lot of body panels line up with a Q45. A lot of suspension panels line up with a Q45. The rear is like across a whole range of cars. S chassis parts fit in the rear of this. These parts fit in the S chassis. I'm pretty sure this has an LSD in it. it makes things a bit on the easier side. The 4.1 VH versus the 4.5 they made the 4.1 to fit in a narrower space. They made it with more of the accessories tucked in and on the inside of the motor, just to, you know, on the real tight side of the motor, just to make more room for smaller bodied cars. And another thing they did with the 41 is they actually have a triple row 
timing chain in the 41s versus a dual row in the 45s so definitely a plus there too you don't ever have to worry about snapping a timing chain in these things you could ravage the hell out of this engine you'll never ever snap a timing chain so that's always a good good sign right there you got the factory strut bar and this pink battery is going to make its way into something else i am fairly sure this pink battery is going to stay with me because it is too cool we are going to clean the headlights up nicey nice give this whole car a nice once over and a wax but that is about it one thing i did forget to mention too is that it has the factory gold emblem package so all the emblems on the car are gold which is pretty cool but we are going to end this video here successful day at the port we are home with the sima and it was a comfortable enjoyable ride I and mean, what else can you ask for a car like this like i said when i was at the port it was either this car or a single cam sedan automatic skyline r33 for the same price versus this car with 45,000 miles v8 higher high model one thing i didn't even notice before everything is like brand new in here you got all the controls back here it's, it's wild controls on the seat the whole steering column is electronic everything is electronic and all the touch screen and this thing's insane for a 97 by the way this thing was built october of 97 so it's only legal this month last month so it's a month a month from being legal but anyways, I could have got the Skyline for the same price as this. All those negatives on a 100 horsepower shitbox Skyline or this beautiful Grand Tourer car with a V8, comfortable as hell, all kinds of creature comforts. And the sad part is nine people out of 10 would take that shit Skyline over this. Why? me subscribe i got ink all over my fingers if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button leave me a comment check out my instagram mike g203 and like comment and subscribe okay bye